<laughs> well, congratulations, Scott. And out on the ice now, Scott's chief rival for the men's championship, the defending U.S. Open professional champion, Robert Wagenhofer. biggest moment as an amateur competitor came at the 1982 U.S. National Championships, where he placed second to Scott Hamilton. He's really started to take his career more seriously since he turned professional. difficult to balance that spin. because apparently, Tracy, a flawless performance from Robert Wagenhofer, but was the program as difficult as Scott's? He didn't have as many difficult jumps in the program. He didn't do a triple lutz, but what he did have were his own creative moves, and so he's going to get full marks for innovation. Here comes the backflip. He almost gets into a full layout position. It's one of the nicest backflips I've seen, and it's followed by the Wagenhofer side flip. And he said this came up by accident one day. He was fooling around in practice, and, and there he had it. And now the scores. Starting with musicality, nine, eight. And a 9-7 nine, there for artistry. Seems a little low, Bill, um, because artistically, he's, he's got to be one of the best. A 10 from the public opinion judges, 68.9. Um, yeah, I felt that I was really on tonight. Um, it was a tough night. Scott set the precedence at the beginning of the evening, and everybody kept true to form. So it was tough. I felt like I did the job. Um, the marks, probably with the exception of one, I think the choreography mark. You know, that's going to have to be explained later, and, you know, I'll talk to that person. But um, other than that, I think they were pretty much on the mark. You know, Scott was on. You know, he couldn't have skated better. So I was standing there watching. And, you know, I knew it. I knew I had to do it. And it's for the audience this time, and for myself. So the choreography mark was a 9 9. It was artistry that I think he was upset with. There you see the standing Scott Hamilton, Robert Wagenhofer, and 68.9.